there's this whole concept in the Afro-American Negro community called groupthink. And in this concept, mm. African-Americans think that everyone has to think the same way and follow the same narrative. Now, this whole concept of groupthink is completely illogical when you think about how God created human beings. God, the creator of the universe, gave every human being the right to free will. And if we all have free will, how can we all think the same? It just doesn't make any sense. However, the Afro-American Negro always is still trying to fit the square peg from a man-made social construct into God's natural order and wondering why things don't work. And the reason why they don't work is because, again, God created everybody to have free will, everybody to have independent thought, everybody to have their own opinions, everybody to have their own views, and everybody to have their own ideas. And that's just the natural way human beings are. Human beings all think differently and all think uniquely. But in the African American community, you always have people trying to make it where everybody has to be the same. Nobody's going to be the same, but you know, the Negro thinks that he can fit this, this social concept and make it into reality. And my first encounter with it was, you know, 12 years old in junior high school. That's where I first, you know, saw the whole concept of this whole group thing. Everybody had to have the same type of sneakers. Everybody had to have the same type of pants. And everybody had to be into the same things in order to be considered, you know, acceptable in society. And I always, you know, rebelled against this concept because to me, it just seemed naturally ridiculous. How can we all be the same? How can we all, you know, have the same ideas? And who says that this concept that this person, you know, presents as, as what is supposed to be the norm and supposed to be accepted should be the norm? It, it, just not, it just doesn't make any sense when you really think about it. But you still have Negroes to this day still trying to make this concept of groupthink work. And it's just not plausible, it's just not possible, but here they are trying to, again, fit that square peg into that round hole. And when you think about groupthink for certain things, it's just ridiculous. I mean, how can one person dictate how other people think? How can one person dictate how others, you know, feel? How can one person, you know, what, what says that their way is the best way for everyone? When I think about this whole concept of groupthink, I, it just, it's mind-bogglingly stupid to me um, at all. I mean, what I really think many of these Negroes don't understand is there's a big difference between, you know, the whole concept of groupthink and being on the same page. Being on the same page means that while everyone knows their unique and individual roles and everybody works together everybody understands you know the overall agenda that needs to be completed and everybody does their job within that agenda that's what being on the same page is you know i'm the guy who um let's say is a writer so i'm going to create you know stories that create the positive image you might have another guy you know who says you know what i'm going to you know be the distributor of um the books in retail or you might have another guy who says, you know what, I'm going to, you know, control the media through, you know, television. And all of us have, we all have different skills, but we all have, you know, the same agenda, which is, you know, promoting positive, a positive image of African Americans. So we're all working together, but we're all doing our own separate and individual roles. And in those separate and individual roles, you know, we each find what is distinct about each other, and that adds value to each person. But this is something that, you know, goes over the heads of many black people. They think that, you know, everybody has to think the same when really we all need to be on the same page overall if we hope to build a black community. This is something, you know, that other people understand that being what the being on the same page is that we're all a team and we're all working together, but each of us are doing our own individual roles towards the bigger, broader, bigger goal in the broader picture. This is something that, you know, um, most people, you know, mis misunderstand and misinterpret when they think of this whole group think concept. They don't understand that, you know, being on the same page is about good, about everybody doing their own part and everybody communicating and working together. 
but group think is we all think the same, we all have the same ideas, and we all, you know, do everything the same way, that everything has to conform. And that's just not plausible. I mean, when you look at black history, nobody has ever, you know, had group think. Um, you always, you had in the back in the old days, you had W.E.B. Du Bois, who was, you know, his view of black society was different from Booker T. Washington. And his, and Booker T. Washington's view was different from Marcus Garvey. And then you had, you know, people like Richard Wright and Ralph Ellison. And then you even had people today, you know, your Sharpton is different from your Farrakhan. But they, there is no, there's never been any group thing. People disagree. And the whole thing is that when people disagree, we get a, you know, sometimes we get better ideas from it. And, you know, the things that we really, as black people, really need to look for, you know, instead of groupthink, again, is being on the same page and, you know, being able to work together where we all do our individual roles towards a bigger picture and accomplishing a, you know, broader goal of improving the black race. But unfortunately, because everybody's on this whole groupthink and has this whole idea of being a monolith, you know, you can't get anything done because everybody feels that their idea has to be the only idea when sometimes you get a lot of great ideas from ideas being different and sometimes different approaches, you know, allow us to get a different perspective on things. And that's something that we really need is those different perspectives and those different views because that gives us a better understanding of the overall black experience rather than just one singular black experience. That's all I have to say for this video. You can pick up my new novel, Spinsterella, on Amazon in paperback and on e in an ebook form. The Kindle version is available on Kindle Unlimited. So if you have Amazon Prime, you can, borrow, you can read it for free. Again, that's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe.